is one of the most complicated dovetails I've ever done because the back of the, of the neck is actually, there's a dovetail right in here so it all fits in. So this is all carved to fit this slightly carved surface and then it's all one, it's actually not one piece of wood, it's actually a few pieces of wood but, wow. uh, and then there's a pin block in here of, of a, a super hard maple and then I, all of this is um, sliding window, not a door, <laughs> and that's one of Lauren Harris's painted windows from his Toronto, what's called the Ward period, right. where he um, would walk around and do pictures of houses, which happened to be in the area I live in. So I would, I've actually seen some of the houses. So I just loved his windows, because he'd just do a quick couple of strokes with the brush, and maybe 15 strokes, and get this beautiful depiction of all the light against the, sh the uh, window and the sill. It's really masterful. And what's happening on the back? Because that's not immediately yeah. visible in the ex exhibition, is it? No. Uh, so he, in preparation for every, uh, all his uh, major works, he would grid, he'd had a, a notepad, he would grid it off and do a sketch and he would write notes about what colors he was going to use. And I, because I had access to the archives, uh, I was able to go into the vaults of the McMichael Gallery and see the originals uh, with white gloves. And mm -hmm. So this is my interpretation. If I had done one of those drawings for this guitar, so I, I actually copied his exact style with his, and I even forged his handwriting a little bit. <laughs> and in the corner here, there's a note that says, Dear Emily, and he had a long, uh, like decade-long uh, written relationship with Emily Carr, who's a, a, yes, indeed. a sort of a kindred spirit for him. And she also, he encouraged her, uh, he really, like he was like a mentor for her. And reading all her letters, which I spent an afternoon reading 20 years worth of letters. Wow. And by the time I came out of there, it was just his letters to her, not her letters to him. But I felt like I'd just been given a pep talk, like, come on, Linda, <laughs> don't hold back. You know, don't worry about what people are going to think. Just you know, reach deep inside. So that's was actually a huge influence on the design of this guitar, which was based on primarily on his painting uh, Mount Lefroy, mm. which is why I I did this carved side here, wow. which is and it's also slightly you can see it on the edge here. It's uh, it's wedged. Good. It's wedged this way, so it's skinnier here yeah. and wider here, but it's also on an angle raked like that. that. So from the front, you can actually see this. That's what I was aiming Amazing. for. Amazing. And then this iceberg actually was in the original painting, Davis, uh, Davis Strait. I think it's Davis Strait or Davis Island. Um, was right here, and mm. I had, because of climate change, it's actually drifted across right. away because it's melted slightly, mm -hmm. taking into effect modern Absolutely. weather conditions. So I've had it drift down here to become the eight string harp okay. section. And I added that a little bit. And all the color on here is watercolor pencils. Uh, I should mention they're actually bought from uh, an art store in England. Mm -hmm. And they're museum quality, light, fast watercolor pencils. So everything you see here is actually scribbled on. I'm calling it my scribble art. <laughs> So, and then the peg head is as close a depiction of Mount Lefroy as I could get. Beautiful. So, and I actually had access, access to the original painting, so I could study it up close and look at all the, the brush strokes. And there was even in the original, there's even a little brush hair in this section of the painting. I almost put a little brush hair there, but I, <laughs> I thought that, that would, people would just think it really was a mistake. So.